Good morning, everyone, or good day or good evening, depending upon where you are. Welcome to Monday Meditation. And for those who don't know me, I'm Reverend Peter Panagor, 40 years of meditation. I'm an ex-denominational minister, near-death experiencer twice over, who kind of hid out in the church for a long time, decades and decades, trying to adapt to theology and philosophy of the church and the politics of the church, and now have uh, gone independent. For those of you who know me, hello again, and thanks for coming again. I'm glad you're here. And while you guys settle in, let me tell you a little bit about my next video that I've put up on YouTube on my channel already about what happens in your meditation when your prayer mantra chant falls away and you're left with observation. There's a couple of levels below or above, depending upon your point of view, uh, after your prayer mantra chant falls away and you're left with observation, like I just said. So please check it out, and while you're there, please subscribe. Thanks for being here this morning. This is a group practice meditation. It's global in size. When we practice together, our energy, capital E, uh, inside ourselves, our connection to the divine, to the holy, to the love above, to God, is magnified in ourselves when we are in meditative relationship with each other. And it doesn't really matter whether you are practicing right here live or that you practice later because of the the power of the presence of the divine supersedes time and space so i'm glad you're here this morning and you're adding your little bit of energy to my little bit of energy and together we get a lot in our meditation life so this morning um, I, i'm going to read a little bit off my monitor here uh, about a fellow named richard Rowley. richard Rowley was an english hermit mystic and religious writer. He's also known as Richard Rowley of Hampole or De Hampole, since at the end of his life, he also lived near a Cistercian nunnery in Hampold, South Yorkshire, England, about 13th century. And this is one of the things that he wrote. And this was in this prologue of his book, The Fire of Love. I offer this book, The Fire of Love, for the attention, not of philosophers and of sages of this world, not of the great theologians bogged down with their intimidable questionings, but with the simple, but of the simple and unlearned who are seeking rather to love God than to amass knowledge. To love God rather than to amass knowledge. Theological thinking is wonderful, but also doesn't actually connect you to God. The only way to do that is by going inward and connecting on the inside and loving people on the outside. And it doesn't take any knowledge whatsoever. You don't have to read any books ever about it. You just need to practice your prayer life and open the inner door. And that's why we're here this morning. That's why we're here every time we meet is to practice opening the inner door so that it stays ajar, so that the light pours in and you discover in the long term the stripping away of the false self and the creation of space inside you for the presence of the divine, which lives in you and breathes in you. Anyway, so let's see who's here this morning so far. Got Russell. Hello. Howdy, Russell. Again, good to see you here. And Vicki, uh, Russell's in the UK, Southwest UK. Uh, Vicki is good morning. And Sue, I is in Southeast Pennsylvania, and you can hear me because I fixed all my technology problems that I had yesterday. Oh my gosh. Kyle, hi, and uh, Ariane, Arian, A-R-I-E-N, Arian. And uh, where are you guys from? Hi, Karen Elise, good morning. So here we are, um, ready to meditate. I'm gonna get my clock going, make sure that my phone is on airplane mode. So it doesn't go off. And I might hop up for a moment and close that window because there's a little bit of traffic going by out here on the end of the peninsula. Just so that you don't have to listen to it, just in case you do hear it. So I'm going to pop up for a second here, dash over, shut that window, and be right back. There. Okay. So... If you're all ready to begin, um, I'll set the timer for 20 minutes. 
and uh, we can chat for a bit afterwards if you're interested. And I'll see you soon.
Hi, everybody. Good morning, Sheila in North Carolina. Margie. Elita. Northeast Italy, beautiful little town by a majestic river where I daily get my heart filled with beautiful sights and sounds. How beautiful. It's 2.22 in the afternoon from Alita. And Margie is in Ontario near Lake Huron. And Oscar's in Jacksonville, Florida, where it's hot and humid. Kylie's in Australia. Hello, Wanda. And Helen in Kuthenberg, Sweden. And Leah and Ken up there in Oregon. Early morning for you, Ken. And Lois, who's here in Maine. So everyone, thanks for joining me this morning. If you have anything you'd like to talk about, I'll hang out here for a few minutes. Please be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. The deeper you go within, the more peace you get to carry with you during the day. It's a cumulative thing. Again and again and again and again, the more you practice, the deeper it goes, the more space, sacred space is created inside yourself, inside us, and we share it. together. You're welcome, Wanda. And Ken, uh, you like the new mic and the sensitivity? The sound of cars going by is like a slow motion ocean wave, peaceful. That's because I didn't close all the windows, Ken. Um, but I'm glad that you like the new mic. Here, I'll show you guys a picture of it. It uh, makes a big difference. Vicky, Keep the door ajar, keeping the door ajar. That's the meditation practice, Vicki. You got it right there. Keeping the door ajar, the door ajar. Anyway, <laughs> thanks for joining me this morning and I'll see you Wednesday morning. And don't forget to please subscribe. I appreciate it. Uh, yeah, Russell, global sized group. May we grow in depth and breath and peace. Amen. See you guys soon. You're welcome, Sue.